Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I greet you one more time in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, our soon coming King. He is coming. He is coming back. Let's prepare. Um, today, I ju we just want to look at why is it that some of the preachers are not preaching some of the things that are in the Bible. Why is this? That all these abominable laws are being passed and you hear nothing from some of the most prominent pastors prophets church leaders you hear nothing from them whereas the precepts of God are being taken for granted the laws of God are being dragged in the drain the Lord said that he has placed his laws even above his very name his laws are so important to him his precepts his word that he has placed them even above his very name so that the precepts of God means everything to him if that be the case why is it that the precepts of God are being disrespected, disregarded? Men are passing abominable laws against the precepts of God. And the men who are supposed to be standing up for righteousness are saying nothing. Very few of them are speaking. But there is a reason for that. There is a reason why the laws of God are being taken for a joke. And even the most prominent men of God, men of God, are saying nothing. Now, one of the reasons that they are not, why they are not saying anything, it is because the state and the judges have placed a bridle on the mouths of some of these pastors. Now, the, um, the state has exempted the churches, or most of them, from paying tax. And there is that exchange that they have allowed to take place. Where essentially the church, the, the state is saying that we have exempted your people from tax. But watch what you're saying. Watch what you're saying. And so there is that game that they're playing. The church leaders want to keep their tax benefits. And so they sell out Jesus, they sell out God. They do not preach the true gospel, they dilute the gospel just to keep the legislators happy. To keep the politicians and the judges happy. They keep quiet and they allow the precepts of God to go to naught. Here is what they, um, the, st the state and the, 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 the law guys tell them. Now, this whole thing is being orchestrated by the enemy, by the devil. But in, the, in their quest to be tax exempt for their own good, they do not discern those things. Here's what they, um, they believe, the, the, um, the governments, here's what they tell the people. The church tax exempt 
exempted under the principle that there is no surer way to destroy the free exercise of religion than to tax it. And the Supreme Court of America say the power of tax involves the power to destroy. Basically, the, the, the Supreme Court is trying to frame it where taxes are going to destroy religion. That is what they say. That is what the courts of these countries are saying. But that's not what Jesus Christ said. In every instance, when they came to Jesus Christ to ask him to pay taxes, he paid it. Because Jesus Christ did not want to be bridled by them. Give them what is theirs and leave me alone to do the work of my Father. So in Matthew chapter 17, read it yourself, 24 to 27. There was a situation where a taxman came to Jesus and I think Peter. They came to take to collect the taxes. And Jesus Christ asked his followers to go and fish. And you will catch a fish and uh, the money is in the mouth of the fish. So when the guys came with the fish, they just opened, opened their mouth and lo and behold, that's where the money was and they paid the taxes. There was a situation also in the book of Matthew chapter 22, 17 to 21. Came again, Pharisees, these guys came again to try to tempt Jesus, you know, should we be paying tax, should we pay taxes? So Jesus Christ said, um, give me this coin. He asked, whose head, whose image is on this coin? They said, Caesar. Jesus said, give then unto Caesar what is due unto him and give to God the things that are His. So, Jesus is saying, give the state, pay the state, pay them their taxes, but give God what is His. And here's what men are saying. Jesus said to pay the state, give them what is theirs, but give God what is his. And men are saying, if you give the state the taxes, it will destroy the religion. What the state is saying, what the Supreme Court judges are saying, is completely opposite to what Jesus is saying. And what is happening? All the churches are running with this thing that the state is saying, and they are so happy with the idea of not paying the taxes. So don't pay taxes and your religion will not be destroyed. But really, really, what the state is saying, what the judges are saying, what Satan is pushing is this. Don't pay your taxes. And watch what you say. Do not pay your taxes. It's alright, you don't have to pay your taxes. But be careful what you say. Be careful what you tell those church people. We are going to exempt you from taxes. But just do not try anything there. Watch what you tell those church people. Do not try to tell those, make those people say things against our system. Now, what we have is a situation where the tax exemptions has shut the mouths of these church leaders, these religious leaders. Hmm. So, the state now, the states are moving now to do the abominable things now. And so right now, a lot of these church leaders have to be quiet. The bridles have to be on their mouths. Remember, 
the state is saying, remember, we exempted you people from taxes. Now we're bringing our laws. We are bringing our laws now. We want for men to marry men and women to, be, to marry women. And just do not talk about that. Remember, we give you people tax exemptions. And if you people talk against that, we're going to pull these things away from you. Now, the church leaders, many of them now, they have gotten fat on these church exemptions. It is because of these church exemptions now, they now, they are building big buildings. Big buildings where they are not even able to minister to the individual needs of the people. There are people in these churches, these big churches with, with problems. And they want people of God to minister to them. And the people are just lost in the large numbers. Because every man is building big domes and big projects. Because they are tax, ex tax exempt. The bridle is on their mouths. Laws are coming, challenging the very authority of God. Challenging the precepts of God. And these guys say nothing. And these are the same ones with their tax exemptions now. They have forgotten about the needs of the people. They are no longer um, shepherds. They are now looking for themselves. There is a, a guy who says he's a man of God. He says that he has three planes. He has one that he gave to some people in South Africa to do some um, the, 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 um, their business or business of God. I don't know. There is, he has another one to another pastor. He is using one. But he wants the people to give him $54 million to buy another plane. Whereas in these churches, there are probably people who cannot pay rent, who have medical bills they cannot pay, who cannot send their children to school. But these people are asking for money to buy planes. So, these are the same ones who will not speak against the abominable laws that the states are bringing. The state, states of, state of England, state of America, state of Germany, the states of the world. They are saying nothing against the abominable laws that these countries are bringing. They cannot speak because there is a bridle on their mouths. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Go to Colossians at your home, chapter 1, verse 18. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. These, chap these verses show you clearly that Jesus is the head of the church. And if the head of the church is paying his taxes, paid taxes, why is the church who is following him not paying the taxes? There's a reason why Jesus, the head of the church, paid, it, paid the taxes. Because he wanted to be independent from them. He wanted a situation where he can speak the words of the kingdom. He can speak the words of salvation, unbridled, untouched. He wanted to preach freely. So he just gave them what is due unto them. Go ahead, he said. Give unto Caesar his taxes, but give unto God the things that are his. Give unto God the things that are God's. Because he wanted to be free to preach the gospel. We have a situation now where the system is reversed. The state has seduced the church into tax exemptions and the state has put a bridle on the mouths of some of these preachers. So they cannot talk against the laws that the state is passing. We exempted you from taxes. Just be quiet and do not talk about these things. Do not talk about these abominable laws that we are passing. Say nothing because remember that you are not paying your taxes. He 
who has an heir, let him hear. Keep the fire burning. Be loyal to God. We ought to serve God rather than man. Be faithful unto God. Be faithful unto him, even to the end. And you are going to get a crown of life. Keep the fire burning. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. The Lord is good. Do not sell out. Do not sell out. Praise God. Praise the name of Jesus. We not sell out. We not sell out.